Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're finishing up those hanging planters. I also made a uh, hanging day, to, just one day bird feeder, like you fill it up and you're probably gonna have to fill it again. The next day, um, made a bird bath. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate just adding a, a uh, finial to one of the uh, planters. So here we go. I'll just turn down for you. Tried this before and dropped, dropped my camera right almost went in the water bucket got lucky okay so get this centered up a little bit all right so we got one of the pots upside down on the wheel head and uh it's fastened down with some clays Hello. I knocked one of my anchors off. Do you got any more clay around there? I don't know where it went. You put these anchors on them, put them on your pot. You just anchor them to the wheel head next to the pot. These are pretty easy to trim because you just really don't have to worry about a foot or anything. You just uh, just get them round or get them in a shape you like. Helps you. Whoa! <laughs> Helps you get down here and get a profile. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, one more time. All right. That just gives some marks on there. I started out, I made these finials to put on here, but I don't like the scale compared to the pots. So I'm, uh, I'm grabbing bits of clay here. I just used one of them to anchor my pot. So, anyway, just grabbing a little teeny bit of clay. This is clay right out of a uh, yeah. This is not reused clay. This is this is brand new clay out of the box. So, pretty certain it doesn't have any. Uh, air bubbles in it but might hope not so I'm making this little teardrop shaped piece and got a rib here that's got some teeth in it I just kind of roughing up the bottom of the pot a bit and uh, Find some water and then squishing this teardrop down on the bottom of the pot. Have to be careful here because the bottom of the pot is still damp. So. All right, so now we've got to center that little, that little teardrop on there. I've got a twist in it, so that makes it kind of hard. 
All right. Just gonna have to go with what we have. We'll just use that twist to our advantage on this one. All right, so. accentuate the twist see what that looks like if not we'll just cut this off and start over again That's all right. Okay, so, um, yeah, your hands dry. Now we have to uh, get some holes in the sides in the proper location. What I've done is I cut this old, I made this old piece of paper with with uh, line, lines out of the center of the circle. I cut off <laughs> the circle. So anyway, uh, so you got each one of these lines is 120 degrees off or one third of the circle. So we need a drain hole. So the, any moisture or water that's over watered on the plant can get out of there. So I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of my Planner here. I just have a piece of tubing here. I think this is off a lamp or something. Um, anyway, I made this circle, set it in the center of my wheel head, and then took a, a pin. This is a, like a, sharpie or felt tip pin and uh mark the wheel head so i've got a line here so i'm going to poke a hole through right here wow that looks hard and you gotta get the clay back out of your pipe there we go the second one here. Oop. And let's move my piece. Not that critical that these are dead on, but and the third one. All right, so. I just kind of, whoop, that one's not poked out. Soften those up a bit, the holes anyway. There's our planter. Oop, we want to put a stamp on there. Never find that again. Okay, so. There's our planter. Of course, it'll hang. It'll hang on cables. Just like this. So, I'm hoping no people like them. Not sure about that finial, but we'll do another one real quick to see if we can get a better looking one. Well, I got one over here that I can show you that I threw the thing wall, so. This 
This is the bird bath. Get that down where there's some contrast. This is a little bird, teeny bird bath I made. And uh, that's the finial I threw on the bottom. So, um, and here's another planter. So you get the idea. It's just a bowl upside down. Uh, well, I guess now it's right side up. Anyway, so there's what I've been doing. I'll make, uh, you know, make a ton of these and see if I can get rid of them. Um, you know. oh, there you go. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate those. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do that too. That would really help me out. Uh, I don't know why I even make these videos, but I, I enjoy uh, showing people what I do. And I hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you later.